Hey guys, it's Sandro here, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a new form of clay towel that I've absolutely been loving over the last few months, and found not only to be the most effective clay at removing environmental fallout, but it's also proven to me to be the least aggressive one I've used on automotive paint in the form of the Economax clay cloth. Now just in case you're new to automotive clay, it's basically been used for decades to remove environmental fallout as well as other grime and traffic contamination from car paint and trims by rubbing the clay over the surface with a lubricant to lift those contaminants off the paint, glass and other smooth trims. So basically, clay is used to remove all those little rough bumps that get stuck to the paint and makes the paint feel smooth and contamination free which is essential to do before paint correction and protection steps. The original or traditional automotive clay, which looks and feels a bit like Play-Doh, has been used for decades. But about five plus years ago, we started to see synthetic clay into the market in the form of clay towels, clay mitts, polyshaved clay blocks, and even machine-driven clay pads. The benefit of this new clay technology is that in many cases it's faster at removing environmental contamination from cars, it's generally very durable and more cost effective in the long run, and it's also able to be used with iron and traffic film removal chemicals for increased performance, whereas traditional clay tends to break down when used with chemicals, and if you drop it on the ground it's pretty much done, whereas if you drop synthetic clay you can just rinse it off and keep going. However, the biggest drawback of synthetic clay has always been that it's just more aggressive on automotive paint. So it tends to leave increased clay marring, haze and swirls on the paint compared to a fine traditional clay bar, especially when used on softer car paint. Now I wanted to wait until I'd used this new clay cloth on a few dozen cars before I made this review to really test it out thoroughly. But the first time I tried it, I was just blown away at how well it seemed to work to remove the fallout on the car so quickly and with so little effort. It also seems to lather and foam up more of the clay lubricant and glide along the paint with less friction. So I immediately noticed that it was different to other synthetic clay I'd been using and definitely in a good way. But it was only after I started doing some side-by-side -side tests with my other clay towels, bars and mitts that I consistently saw it create less clay marring in the finish than just about any other automotive clay I own, traditional or synthetic. The clay itself has a spaced out line pattern that's actually only about 50% coverage with 50% negative space and it also has a perforated backing cloth that the clay is attached to. Now I think it's that negative space that allows the fallout particles coming off the paint to sink into, which is what makes it less aggressive as the particles are pushed up into those little gaps or holes in the towel, rather than being pushed across the paint and scratching it. And I also think that that's what additionally makes it more effective as the contamination particles don't get in the way as much and the clay has better contact with the actual paint or surface you're claying. The specific clay pattern and perforated backing also seems to allow for better airflow, which I believe is the reason why you tend to get more of a foamy lather as the air mixes with your clay lubricant as well. It's almost like one of those why didn't they think of it before scenarios, because it's just so simple yet really ingenious and really effective on so many fronts. To try and show its level of aggression on camera, 
I polished up a section on this panel beforehand to remove any swirls or haze in the finish. And then I set up a test using a fine traditional clay bar, a synthetic clay mitt, a standard clay towel and this new clay cloth to try and show how much marring each of them create in the finish. Now this is an extremely soft paint that swells up if you just breathe too hard close to it. So it's going to amplify or exaggerate the results. But hopefully it should give you an idea of how aggressive this new clay cloth is by comparison. I'm using the same dedicated clay lubricant in all sections with only light pressure and trying to be as consistent as possible with each form of clay in each section. Now I'll also mention that the Shoal Concepts traditional clay I'm using is just about my favourite and it's also one of the least aggressive but really effective clay bars that I've ever used. And the mitt I'm using is the Clay Wax It Mitt. It's also by far the most effective and least aggressive clay mitt I've ever used. Now don't quote me on it, but I think the blue clay towel is the CarPro one. But quite honestly, I just hate every clay towel I've ever used because they just all seem to hack the paint to bits. So I generally just avoid them all. Now as we start to have a look at the results, hopefully what you guys will see in the footage is that the traditional clay did fairly well, only producing some really light marring in a few areas, while the clay mint was just very slightly more aggressive with a touch more marring in the finish, but it wasn't too far off. The clay towel was just so much more aggressive on the paint as all the ones I've tried just seem to be, creating a lot of haze and micro scratches throughout its section. But this new clay towel in the final section actually did seem to create the least amount of haze or micro swirls in the finish, which as I mentioned is what I've been seeing time and time again on just about every paint I've used it on. Now it can and will certainly still mar paint to some degree, but it's easily the least aggressive synthetic clay I've ever used and potentially just as mild if not even less aggressive than most traditional clays. And the best part of all is that it's more effective and efficient to work with, so there doesn't seem to be any compromise. Another thing I also want to bring up is that clay isn't just clay. In my experience, there's a world of difference between a quality clay bar and the $2 eBay clay bar that's just the most horrible thing I've ever used. And the same goes for synthetic clay. I tried a whole bunch of cheaper clay mitts and polyshave blocks a while back, and most of them absolutely hacked the paint to bits. I understand that there's a big price difference between the cheap and expensive automotive clays, but quality clay is just one of those things that's expensive to produce. And when you use something like a Meguiar's clay bar side by side with a 3M knockoff eBay bar, you'll understand why the Meguiar's one costs so much more. It's not just more effective, it's also less aggressive on the paint, it's easier to mould, it doesn't stick or leave residue streaks on the paint, and it also doesn't degrade as quickly or stick to your storage container and just be a nightmare to pull it out. So what I'm trying to say is that there's a lot of traditional and synthetic clay bars, mitts, towels and pads that almost look identical to each other, but they certainly don't perform anything like each other. So the only way to really tell is to use them and let the results and user experience be the judge. Having said all of that, I just love this new clay cloth more than any other clay I've used in the last 25 years. And I just can't find anything bad to say about it. But I would say that I'd love to see this specific clay and its pattern put into a clay mint as I think it would be even better, as to me, clay towels just feel a little awkward and flimsy to work with. In any case, I just wanted to share my experience with this new clay cloth and with automotive clay as a whole. And if my experience is anything to go on, I really think this new clay pattern is going to be the way forward. I also hope that other detailing brands take a closer look at this type of clay pattern, because as I mentioned, I'd love to see it in a few other forms, such as clay mitts, hand blocks, and even a machine pad would be really interesting to try as it could be a truly fantastic way to quickly, effectively and more safely clay vehicles moving forward. And if anyone out there has tried this clay cloth before, I'd also love to hear what you think of it in the comments. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. 
please share this video, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel to show support for this content, and I'll see you guys soon. Before I go on, say something wrong. I just took and by. Oh